Y'all ready? Top 10 cigars of the year, baby. Baby. I love the way them chicks from New Orleans say that, baby. <laughs> Top 10 cigars of the year. Shout out to you, Peggy. Mm-mm-mm. Y'all hang on. Oh, I was reminiscing. <laughs> Y'all hang on. I'll be right back. I was up seeing mama the other day. I had to get a new TV, so that's the box back there. Mama is now set up with her nice, nice, nice large size TV with uh, the smart TV and streaming and she can watch all of her game shows and all of those things that she likes to do. Listen, be good to your parents, family, while they are here. Your parents ain't not, not, not perfect people. You gotta understand anybody that has kids that when you had kids, there was no handbook or manual that was gonna tell you how you should uh, raise these damn kids. So sometimes you was just winging it. Sometimes your mama and your daddy was just winging it. And they didn't do some things that was quite right. So listen, have a little forgiveness in your heart and treat them with dignity as they go into their older ages. One of the things that I love about the Asian cultures and say like the Indian cultures is that they value the elders and, and even American Indians, there's a value to the culture. There's a value to your elders. Your elders are important. There's no such thing as elder abuse. So therefore, when your folks get old and they are not able to do for themselves, then you might have to step in and be the parent and do for them. So. Remember, there was a day when they was wiping your little stinky behind and cleaning up all your little throw up and all of this stuff when you were sick and rubbing you and holding you and rocking you and telling you everything will be all right. That's if you had a good parent. Some people had parents that weren't worth a shit. I get it. Sometimes you gotta forgive family. Now don't ask me where the hell that came from. This is a cigar of the year video, but that's an important message. So somebody needed that. So you take it, you put that in your pipe and you smoke it. You do what you gotta do. Anyway, number 10, we're gonna come in at number 10. I think we have a tie. I think we have a tie at number 10. Hold on, let me get my list together. I got lists everywhere family. I got lists everywhere. We have a tie at number 10. Uh, a number 10. Coming in from my brother again. Eric Espinosa. I tell you, I don't smoke a lot of Espinosa cigars, and when I do, I don't really like them. Yeah, right. This was an exceptional year for Espinosa on my list. Coming in at number 10, and this is a remake of this cigar. I reviewed it back in the day, and I reviewed it again, the remake, and I really still enjoyed it at a 3.94. It's Sensei's Sensational Sarsaparilla. Shout out to the folks over at Cigar Dojo. It's the one dojo dude over there hating on Lee Mac 912. I still love you, brother, even though you hating on me. I'm just saying. I don't know why you hating on me, but whatever. You do your thing. But anyway, y'all had a great cigar with Sensei, Sensei Sensational Sarsaparilla. It was a $10 cigar, rated 3.94. And coming in at 3.94 as well with the tie uh, at number 9. Like I said, the bang for the buck is what distinguished that. The uh, Espinosa was $2.54 bang per buck. And uh, the uh, Stogie Road Cigar Silent Green number 2 was $2.01 bang per buck. So there you go. Uh, and that was the Silent Green number two. That version came in at number nine for me. Now, coming in at number eight. This is from Fuente. I don't smoke a whole lot of Fuentes, i tell you before. Hold on.
I think this cigar is tunneling. It's not burning down the center. And I think that's why it's having a hard time staying lit. The, uh, and that probably is the problem with a mono varietal. You have a cigar and you do a blend and you do certain parts of the blend for taste, you do certain parts of the blend for strength, you do certain parts of the blend for burn. But when you only got a single plant or a single variety, sometimes you can't quite get it right. So I think that's what's happening with this one. Anyway, uh, I think this cigar came out uh, and I got it from uh, BL Luxuries. It was one of the ones that came out because there was a shortage of the rare pinks. So instead of the rare pinks, they sent out these Casa Fuente cigars, which you can only buy, I believe, in Vegas at the Fuente Lounge. I believe that is the, the case. So they sent out to some stores instead of the rare pinks, which, you know, again, the pandemic held those up. They sent these out. So the Double Robusto $22 stick was rated at a 3.95 for me, a 3.95. Now, here is a surprise at number seven, which also has a 3.95. At number seven, a cigar brand that I have learned to not like so much. And this is why I tell you, just because you don't like a particular cigar in the line, you still kind of need to smoke through to see if there are some gems there. Now I get it. Money is tight. Things are costing more. You can't necessarily afford to smoke through a line when you smoke one and the first one you smoked was terrible. But from Villager, I, listen, four or five years ago, you go back and look at my Villager reviews and you'll be like, mm-mm, mm-mm. They had all these other blends. I think they've since gotten rid of that. They've reorganized several times, reblended, blah, blah, blah. But for 2022, 2022, they did a TAA exclusive 6x52 cigar, $10 cigar. That was the TAA exclusive. Uh, and it was rated a 3.95 as well. Now this is tight. It's tight up here in the top 10 list. This is real tight, baby. It's tight because coming in, just slightly edging that out. Again, from my man, Eric Espinosa. I know I don't smoke Espinosa cigars very much and when I do, I don't like them so much. I know, I know. But right now at number seven, we got brother Eric Espinosa on here with the La Zona. 10 year. The La Zona 10 year. $13 cigar. 6x52 is the size that I smoked. 3.96 is a $3.28 bang per buck on that cigar. But also tied with that is another brand that I smoke a lot of and I don't rate very highly most of the time. But I love the brother who puts together the cigars. My man John Huber and Mike Condor. I like John Huber and Mike Condor this year. This was a late entry. The Azul y Oro. The Azul y Oro. 6x52 cigar. $11.95. You know, I gotta be on a swivel. You gotta see what's going on. It's Christmas time. You know, people be on that stuff, man. You gotta see what's going on. But yeah, $11.95, and that tied with the Espinosa La Zona 10 years. They both rated 3.96. Great cigars. Now, Coming in at number four. Hey, John, you got two cigars back to back on the Lee Mac 912 top 10. Listen, you at number five and you at number four because come crown heads, come, 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 come round heads. Crown heads came in with the Sfumato in C major. S F U M A T T O. Oh, Sfumato in C major. 6.75 by 48 cigar. $10.95. Not your typical cigar that's coming out these days. We have these typical cigars right now that are big, bigger ring gauges, darker wrappers, heavier body, stronger nicotine. That ain't what this cigar is at all. 
this is nice light body that's 6.75 by 48 i love the size i love a 48 ring gauge you can really taste that wrapper on it beautiful wrapper great complexity it's a great cigar this is another one along with the azul both of those i went right out and got a box of those so i could put them up because those are both two great cigars this one was rated a 3.99 3.99 out of five on the lee mac 912 scale great cigar good job i like it you might want to try it for yourself now coming in at number three we got the number three from ace prime the sergeant it's not a new cigar but it's new to me it's first time that i smoked it the sergeant i'm gonna have to smoke or review one of the two because Work, these two things ain't working out together. The Sergeant 5x58 cigar, $9.45, got a 4.00 on the Lee Mac 912 scale, and it came in at number three. And coming in at number two, I got a lot of surprises this year. A cigar manufacturer that I typically, he dresses real nice, uh, he's a cool brother, but me and the cigar blending, we don't necessarily get together, but for my man E.P. Carrillo, E.P. Carrillo, the new wave, 5x50, Five dollars and ninety cents. Five dollars and ninety cents. Four point oh five rating. Number two on the Lee Mac 912 scale. So that goes to show you, money ain't everything. This also, if I remember, the cigar is not one of those heavy, full-bodied cigars. It was a great cigar. I loved it. Now, I guess I should have saved my drum roll. I can give you the drum roll again. We're gonna give you the cigar of the year. Coming in from my man, Oscar Valadares. He hails from, I don't know where the hell he hails from, but he Oscar. The Oscar Valadares 10th anniversary is the cigar of the year. That was an $18 cigar, 6x52, rated at a 4.10 on the Lee Mac 912 scale. So there you have it. You might want to go out and try some of these cigars. You might not. There may be something that you like. It might not be. But that's what I smoked. That was my year in cigars. Some great cigars on the list. All right, family, that is it. Lee Mac 912 Cigar of the Year. That is my announcement. Stay tuned for our bottom cigar of the year, and maybe we'll do one on the also rants. But I'm definitely going to do one on the bang for the buck. So. Yo, hang on. When you wake up in the morning, you got to say to yourself, today is going to be another great day. And you got to say that. Why? Because your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between the truth and the lie. So you might as well tell it a good damn lie. That's what I've been doing every day for 15 years. Works for me. Might work for you. Don't cost you nothing. So we'll see. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Happy Hanukkah. Happy uh, Kwanzaa. Happy whatever it is that you celebrate. You do your thing. You and your family. Be safe out there. And, uh, and listen, we'll see y'all again. Hopefully. Lord willing. And the creek don't rise. Ooh, look, our ash is blowing everywhere. We'll see you later, family. Peace.